is there a difference between dividing by three and dividing by one third? Yes, there is. And in today's lesson, you'll learn how to divide numbers by fractions. Dividing fractions just like multiplying is a skill where you do not need a common denominator. But there are some other parts to this that are a little bit tricky and I want to make sure that we share so that all Mac marbles can feel really successful. We're going to divide whole numbers by fractions today. So the first thing we're going to do is why don't we just make sure that this first number looks like a fraction. There we go. By just putting a one underneath it, it's now in fractional form. Let's start from there. We're going to look at three different steps in order to divide this fraction. We are going to keep the first number. We are going to change this to a multiplication problem and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. A reciprocal means we take a fraction and we flip it around. That is a reciprocal. Keep the first number. We're going to change it to a multiplication problem and then flip the last number. Some kids think of this as keep, change, flip. And I see them literally say, saying K, C, F. Not KFC, not like the Colonel's chicken, not the chicken spot, K, C, F. Keep, change, flip. And they use this in order to divide our fraction and remember the steps. And once you do that, you simply now multiply the way we learned in our last lesson. Three times five is 15. One times one is one. So our answer is 15 over one. That's improper. So we're going to fix that using division. 15 divided by one is just 15. And that is our final answer. No need to simplify whatsoever. And we're going to use these steps today in order to divide whole numbers by a fraction. So again, you're going to watch as I keep the first number the same, my dividend. I'm going to change it to a multiplication problem and I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. And my last step is to just check that it's in simplest form. We're going to try it with this one. So three divided by one third. So let's change that three into a fraction divided by one third. And then it's keep, change, flip three over one times, in this case, 3 over 1. And we end up with 9 over 1 when we multiply. Remember that is improper, so I'm going to put a little if there. It's improper fraction. When we have an improper fraction, we're going to divide. 9 divided by 1 is 9. So that is our final answer here. Hit pause so you can jot it into your notes. And now let's do one more just to get into practice. So you guessed it, six over one divided by five eighths. Keep, change, flip. Keep the first number, change it to multiplication. Flip this fraction around to a reciprocal, five over eight. You get 48 over five. Now it is improper. So you're going to have to divide again. You may have to do the long division on this one, Mac Marbles, and that's okay. 48 divided by five. Four divided by five, we cannot do. 48 divided by five is nine. Nine times five is 45, and my remainder is three. Now, normally when we did decimals, we kept on going to the hundreds place, but because this is a fraction problem, we're gonna leave our remainder as a fraction, three, so here we go, 3 over 5. Check and see, can I simplify 3 and 5? Here are the factors of 3 and 5. 1 and 3, 1 and 5. Nope, they are already in simplest form. So our final answer to our problem is 9 and 3 fifths. This is simplified. Well, there you have it. Big takeaways for... Dividing fractions, keep change flip. Make sure the first number is a fraction. We're going to change it to a multiplication problem and flip the second fraction around using its reciprocal. Hit pause, jot this down in your notes. Let's get to practicing and I will see you in the next lesson, Math Marbles.